you heard that right. Elon Musk just declared Moonbase Alpha is happening. Not a simulation, not a concept, a real lunar base built by Starship. But here's the wild part. This announcement might quietly mark the start of humanity's first permanent home beyond Earth. Stick around because what Musk revealed changes everything about how Starship will be used in the next few years. So here's what happened. During a recent update, Elon Musk confirmed that SpaceX's long-term plan includes building Moonbase Alpha, a self-sustaining lunar outpost constructed using Starship architecture. Think about it. The same rocket designed to reach Mars will now be laying bricks on the moon first. But why the moon before Mars? That's where things get interesting. Because according to Musk, the moon is the ultimate testbed. Starship's massive payload, its ability to refuel in orbit, and even its precision landing tech, all of it will be pushed to the limit. And if they fail on the moon, Mars won't even be possible. So what exactly does Moonbase Alpha look like? Imagine this, starships landing in pairs near the South Pole, sunlight glinting off their silver holes. Rovers rolling out carrying 3D printers that use lunar dust to build habitats. Inside, astronauts live in pressurized domes powered by solar farms stretching across the crater rims. Each dome connected by tunnels, laboratories, life support systems, and fuel depots, all built by machines sent from Earth. And Musk says the goal isn't just to visit the moon, it's to stay. This is where the Mars dream begins, with the technology that keeps humans alive just three days from Earth before we attempt three months to Mars. If you want to see exactly how Starship's engineering makes Moonbase Alpha possible, from refueling tech to cargo delivery systems, click the link below to watch my full deep dive. It's a complete breakdown of how this lunar base could actually be built. But here's what blows my mind. Musk hinted that the first Starship to deliver Moonbase Alpha components could launch before the end of this decade. That's less than five years away. And when that happens, for the first time in history, we won't just be looking at the moon, we'll be living on it. If this excites you as much as it does me, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Rocketry, and follow our Rocketry Facebook page for more deep dives into the future of human spaceflight. Because at Rocketry, we don't just cover launches, we explore the missions that change our species forever. Click the link below for the full Moonbase Alpha breakdown, and I'll see you there, on the lunar surface.